Porsche Center Calgary, and I am here today with this 2023 Cayenne. Uh, this particular one uh, originally served as one of our service loaner vehicles. So when you come in and need some work done on your car, but need a vehicle to drive in the meantime, uh, we'll give you something. And that's uh, that's where this one came from. It has now been retired from service and is available for purchase. So it hasn't been owned by any um, anybody else, just by the dealership. And now being in 2023, Cayenne, that means it has the three liter turbocharged V6 engine with about 335 horsepower. And uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the specifics of this one. So um, this is chromite black metallic, probably the number one most popular color on the Cayennes. These wheels are the 21 inch exclusive design wheels. And uh, the concept behind these wheels, if, uh, if you're not aware, that kind of shape that the spokes uh, make up is designed to mimic the Porsche crest. So just kind of a subtle, subtle reference to, to, the, um, to the crest there, which is pretty, pretty neat once you notice it. Uh, some other stuff outside. The window trim on this one was optioned to be black. The standard would have been silver, but then they also added the roof rails in black. You can do those in silver, but black tends to be the more popular. Uh, and that is an option, by the way, I always like to point out that you can't retrofit. If you decide to put a hitch on at factory, it's a little bit cheaper to do, but you can retrofit that option if you don't um, have a kind that it was optioned with from factory. The roof rails that you have to put on at factory. So we will put them on more of our stock inventory than not. Um, but it is optional. Uh, some other stuff you'll notice on the outside. Oh, it does have the trailer hitch too, by the way, both options on this one. Um, you'll notice a big kind of round sensor on the front of the car. That's for the adaptive cruise control. So that's the feature that allows you to set your following distance from the car in front. If they break, then this car will automatically break to maintain that set distance for you. Uh, you may or may not be able to see a smaller uh, little camera above that. That's where the surround view camera optioned here. So standard would have been a rear view camera, but when you option the surround view, you get an additional camera on the front and one underneath each side mirror. And then uh, on the screen, it kind of stitches those images together. So you get a top down view and you can see all the way around the car it makes parking super easy. It's a feature I really love. Um, some other stuff outside before we move in. There's a couple of things that are kind of tougher to see, like the insulated glass, the, the heat and noise insulated glass. If you roll the window down kind of part way and run your finger over the top, you can feel there's actually two pieces of glass when you option that feature. And it does make it quite a bit quieter inside and keeps the heat um, you know, more efficiently in in the winter and out in the summer. So pretty nice thing to have. Uh, as well, uh, actually on, on the front, we have the LED uh, dynamic lights, uh, but they were optioned to be black. So they're kind of that tinted uh, headlight look versus the more silver standard uh, standard option. And then let's move on to the inside of this one. So standard black interior, um, probably again, by far our number one most popular selection. And then in terms of the content, we have firstly the premium package. Now that can be kind of a tricky um, option because every year it'll be a little bit different. They'll put some different content in there and there's the premium package versus the premium plus. So keep an eye on that if you're kind of shopping and comparing different Cayennes and different model years. In this model year, in a premium package, it gives you a seat upgrade firstly. So you can choose either the 14-way or 18-way seat. This one has the 14-way. So that gives you the power thigh extension as well as four-way lumbar support. The 14-way seat also has an adjustable headrest. The 18-way wouldn't, and it's a more bolstered seat. This is the more popular one. Um, also gives you the panoramic roof, gives you the lane change assist, which is Porsche for blind spot warning, gives you the Bose sound system upgrade, and the uh, comfort access, meaning you just touch the door handle to unlock. You don't have to physically take your key out of your pocket and press the button to do so. And then uh, outside of that package, some other stuff was added, uh, including the heated seats in the rear of this one and the ventilated seats up front. And then some other nice stuff to see here. We've got the Sport Chrono package, which gives you a handful of things. Firstly, um, it changes the standard uh, analog clock on the dash to a stopwatch and you get the drive mode selector on the uh, on the steering wheel. You have a kind of a little rotary dial there. Um, standard on the car, you would have your kind of normal default mode, and then you'd have the sport button in the center console. When you option sport chrono, you get that drive mode selector that allows you to rotate from the uh, default normal where you'll start start off every time you, uh, you fire up the car. One rotation gets you to sport mode, which gives you sharper throttle response, later shift points, things like that. And then uh, second rotation goes to sport plus, which is then even more extreme. Uh, frankly, I think too extreme for most conditions on the road, but uh, certainly on a racetrack, it's a handy thing to have. And then there's also the individual mode where you can 
tailor some of those aspects to your personal preference. Um, and then also the heads up display, which is a fairly rarely selected option with us and has only been around in the Porsche world for a handful of years, but that uh, will project your speed as well as navigation instructions, some other information directly onto the, uh, onto the windshield. So you don't have to look down quite as far from your line of sight as you're driving down the road to get that important data. So can again be pretty handy to have, can be a nice safety feature. And then another one here um, that we didn't see so often um, in 2023 was the smartphone compartment. What that gives you um, is you know kind of a specific area within the center console to put your phone, but more significantly, the inductive charging. So you don't have to physically plug your phone in for it to charge, just put it in that area. And assuming the phone is compatible, um, it has that functionality, it will just charge it automatically uh, through the inductive charging system. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, mileage on this one, 12,000 kilometers. So really not too much for having been on the road about a year now, but still lots of original warranty remaining. And uh, we have now retired along with this one, a handful of, uh, of other ones. There's, there's actually a pretty good selection right now of uh, freshly retired service lawners. And they are, I think, one of the best kind of value opportunities that we offer. You know, Porsche doesn't really do um, manufacturer incentives and, and you know year-end um, promotions or things like that but we have these vehicles that have been with the dealership their whole life so they've been you know kept a very close eye on by us and minimal mileage but then of course they're repriced really quite competitively uh, compared to what else is out there and you get things as well maybe i should have mentioned already um, but with all of these uh, service owners we'll put the paint protection film on the full front of the car um, so you already have that as well as kind of a, a value add that you don't have to pay for, as well as of course the fact that um, they're not susceptible to luxury tax, which they would have been as uh, as brand new cars. So a really good value, and there are at least at time of filming here a few other ones to uh, to check out. So if you're interested in this one or in some of the other ones, browse around, check out what we've got, or do come down and pay us a visit. Thanks very much for watching.